because I'm so tired. I think I'll start with a nap today. <laughs> I better go out and find some food. There ain't nothing in this barn for me. Gosh, I'm really hungry. Where am I going? <laughs> Jeez, if I thought I was hungry before, I'm starving! <laughs> How much further? How much further? How much further? <laughs> First look right. No, no, no. First you look left, then you look right. Then you look... Oh, what's that? First you look left, then you look right, and then you just run! Just go, go, go! There he is. Pardon me, sir. What do you think you're doing? Take it easy. I just wanted to check out these great gourds. No one is allowed in the pumpkin patch. You are here. I am Tyler the dog, guardian of the great pumpkins. My name is Rhett the Rat. I've come a long way. I've crossed the road and almost got killed. I have come in search of food. I have nothing to offer you. These pumpkins look plenty enough to eat. You cannot eat them. These are special pumpkins. What makes them so special? Farmer Kurt takes the biggest ones from the patch every year to the pumpkin way-off contest in hopes to be the grand prize winner. Grand prize winner? Wow! <laughs> Where does he take them? I really don't know. I'm very curious how these gigantic pumpkins grow. <coughs> Who's that? That's Carl the Crow. <coughs> hey, <coughs> I think I might know someone who can tell us how these pumpkins grow. Really? Do you think they might have something to eat? Follow me. I'll take you there. <laughs> Whoa. Go, go, go. Try not to step on the vines. These leaves look like elephant ears. Come on, you silly rat. <laughs> Whoa! Wow! Where are you? There's just so much to look at. I don't want to get into trouble. Now stay with me. I'm coming, I'm coming! Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh. Harry! Harry! Harry, wake up! Wake up! Harry! Oh. He's sound asleep. That's why the farmer hired me. Why don't you bark really loud and try to wake him? <coughs> that never seems to work. I know. How about I grab his leg and make a really scary face? You already are. Very funny. <coughs> I've got it. I'll climb up and chew through the rope on Harry's other arm, and he'll fall down. Oh, I don't know. Uh, oh, be careful, rat. Harry, if you would only just wake up. Oh, I'll just chew through the rope. I'll pull from down here. <laughs> Whoa! Where am I? Hi, Harry! Glad to see you are awake! Well, hello, Tyler. How are you? I brought a friend here to see you. I'm Rhett the Rat. S.K. Harry the Scarecrow. Pleasure to meet you. Harry, can you please tell us about these pumpkins? Okay. Let's sit up here. Oh, 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 oh. my legs are so wobbly. Howdy! Ooh, looks like I need more stuffing. <laughs> I'm glad we can sit up here. Harry, our friend Rhett here wants to know how these pumpkins grow so big. Yeah, I've traveled a long way, crossed the road, and almost got killed. Are these your pumpkins? Oh, ho, ho, ho. these are Farmer Kurt's pumpkins. He grows many different varieties, but these are Atlantic giants. Primarily, they're grown for show. 
People just love to buy 800-pound pumpkins and put them on display in their homes, offices, and even for parties. People love to carve them. Wow! 800-pounders? They must have really big seeds. Oh, the seeds are the most important part. Why, at the end of the season, the farmer takes his seeds from the biggest pumpkin that he grows and he dries them out and he trades them with other farmers from all over the country and beyond. Yeah, George, I'm getting kind of antsy to get planted. It's been pretty cold up here, quite a bit of snow. How about you down there? Yeah, it's about the same here, too. But I'm hoping another month or so I can get out and get plowing anyway. At least loosen up the soil and let it dry out a little bit. Yeah, I've been getting a few seeds in the mail and some pictures also. But I'm looking back at some older pictures trying to figure out. I might plant some older seeds. Or I might, might plant a few that some guys have sent me this past year. And I got quite a few of my own seeds that I can plant also. The weathermen, they're predicting a hot, dry summer. I hope I don't have to water that much. I'd rather have it cool with a lot of rain if I could. Hopefully I'll have something pretty decent too to take to the way off. So I'll see you later. Bye. Soil preparation is extremely important in growing large pumpkins. Our secret ingredient is fertilizer and is very valuable in the preparation of soil treatment. Having the right equipment is essential for a large-scale operation. Manure is a great source as a soil conditioner and offers many nutrients to help feed the giant pumpkins. If available, aged manure is better than fresh. Most growers use aged manure because it breaks down quicker and adds organic matter to the soil. Mulched leaves, grass clippings, and compost are also good sources of organic matter. The soil can be tilled up in the fall and manure spread during the winter, or you can apply manure in the spring and till it in then. Using tools from an old hobby can be beneficial in a new one. The fishing line helps make straight rows and can be quickly rewound unlike bulky string or rope. A long tape measure can be used to space the plants in each row. Each plant should be at least 25 feet apart to ensure enough room for vines to spread out. I've got more seeds germinating in here. In the greenhouse, seeds can be started in 4-inch peat pots using a good quality potting soil. Maintaining a temperature between 80 and 120 degrees is essential for germination. You can use an electric disc furnace to apply heat to the bottom of the pots. Only 3-4 to four days are required for germination. There is no better source than rainwater. As rain falls, it picks up many nutrients out of the air, and it's free. New seedlings right out of the greenhouse require lots of watering as the roots may already be exposed to the air through the bottom of the pots. It's important to water seedlings thoroughly on top and the bottom as the roots need to stay moist. These plants here are burpee prize winners. I'm going to take them to the garden and plant them. <laughs> See you later. The peat pot is no longer needed when planting the seedling in the ground. By hand crushing the soil, it creates a nice bed of loose dirt for the young roots to take hold in. To help keep water around the plant, make a crater-like hole. As plants begin to vine out, it's best to tie them down to control the direction in which you want them to grow. This also helps protect them from rolling in the wind, causing damage to the vines.
there are many water-soluble fertilizers available. Then I mix it into the barrel. I dip my water-soluble fertilizer out of the tank and carry it over and water the plant with it. For me, this is the best method because I got a lot of plants and I can water quickly. Be sure to water all around the plants as the root system may extend beyond the foliage. blossoms from the plant you're pollinating or a different plant. Usually you take four to ensure good pollination. And you take it and you just cut the petals around so you leave something like almost a pencil. And you rub that all around into what's called the stamen of the plant because uh, you don't know how much pollen is going to be on each one. What I do is the night before they're going to open, I will take a, a garbage twisty tie and close the, the female plant up so that the bees can't get inside and pollinate before I do it in the morning. And then what I do is I take the twisty tie off and it'll open up like this. And then I'll do my pollination and then I'll take a twisty tie and I'll wrap it back around to close it up so that the bees can't get in there. And this ensures that you have a good pure pollination with no cross pollinations from a plant that you don't want. Pruning and burying vines shifts the plant's energy from the foliage to the fruit. See right here there's a, a dill ring forming and that means that the flesh is cracking from the inside and I'm worried that maybe within a couple weeks that this may break through and I'll end up losing the pumpkin. But hopefully I'll, it'll be all right. And I, right now I'm just covering up with the sheet but I'll be putting a little protective shelter over the top of it to keep the sun off of it. And that keeps the fruit young and more elastic and gives it less chance of splitting and aging quickly so that it can grow over a longer period of time. Like any other plant in the garden, pumpkins are susceptible to disease, insects, and fungus. As it's growing, some pumpkins get little cracks and leak. By spraying a water-soluble powder fungicide, the water will dry and the powder will remain to coagulate any juices that may seep out as the fruit continues to grow. Whoops! That's a hunger burp! Now do you see why you cannot eat these pumpkins? These Atlantic Giants are going to the Great Pumpkin Way Off Contest tomorrow. And then they're, they're off to be sold to the pumpkin carver after that. Wow! That sounds like fun! I wish I could go! <coughs> hey, I've got an idea. Come on, follow me.
This is one of the pumpkins the farmer's taking to the great pumpkin way off contest tomorrow. We can cut a hole in the bottom of it and you can hide inside. That way, the farmer will take you to the fair when he goes. Wow, I can't believe I'm actually going to the fair. Oh, but thanks Harry, so much, Harry. Isn't that... Never mind, my little friend. Right, right, right. Bye-bye, Tyler. Wow, look at all these seeds. I'm going to have to eat some. You know, there's, there's a long way to the fair, and I'm starving. But I almost got killed. Whoa! Oh, wow! It's awfully dark in here! Oh, yes. Goodbye, Rhett. Well, that's one way of getting rid of him, Tyler. Hello! Have a safe trip, Rhett. Hello? <laughs> Come on. Tyler! Harry? Cruising around, eating all the pumpkin seeds off the ground. And Tyler the dog said, Pardon me, sir, you can't do that. And Red said, Leave me alone, man. I'm just a rat. And Tyler the dog said, That's not going to fly with Farmer Kurt, and I'll tell you why. Because these here pumpkins, they're going to grow up to be big and fat. Besides, I'm not going to lose my job over some silly rat. Rat the rat said, I want to know more. Why don't you just tell me what these pumpkins are for? And Tyler the dog said, I think there's someone I might know. His name is S.K. Harry, and he's a scarecrow. When they got to S.K. Harry, he was fast asleep. Kyle the crow was pecking at his cheek. And Tyler the dog said, We've got to get this bloke down to the ground so we can wake him up and he can show us around. Now Red the rat, he chewed through the rope and Harry fell down and said, Whoa, where am I? Tyler the dog said, For Pete's sakes, did you forget where you are? You're in the pumpkin patch. And by the way, this is my friend Rhett, and he's a rat. And Harry said, These are special pumpkins. They need special care. To fight the heat, frost, and fungus, they're going to the fair. To a contest called the Pumpkin Way Off. And Farmer Kurt's going to take them there. That's right. And if you win, pumpkin pie for everyone. And a whole lot of cash to spend. Wow! Pumpkin patch! The pumpkin patch, the pumpkin pie for everyone, and lots of cash. That's 800 pound pumpkins for you and me. Wow, that's a big pumpkin. Pumpkins are huge, man. It's no joke, as you can see. Wow. The pumpkin patch, the pumpkin patch, pumpkin pie for everyone, and lots of cash. That's 800 pound pumpkins for you and me. These pumpkins are huge, and that's no joke, as you can see. This is so exciting! <laughs> Just about to announce the winners. Thank you guys. <laughs> oh, I have to go check out that pumpkin cover. Hey! Okay. Uh, I've been doing this for 10 years. Just carving one of Kurt Herm's uh, giant pumpkins. We uh, taking the peel right off. This is how I start cutting it from the eyes to the nose and I work to the mouth. Sometimes I draw it out, sometimes I just go from uh, to my head. They've asked 
asked me to stay on and become a judge for next year. I hope that at least they feed me. Now get your seeds in early and I'll see you here next year at the fair. Yes, and I expect all of you to bring a carved pumpkin as well. Or no, 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 make it a, a pumpkin pie. <laughs> bye bye, kids. Bye bye. <laughs> Red the rat was cruising around, eating all the pumpkin seeds off the ground. And Tyler the dog says, hey man, you can't do that. And the rat says, leave me alone, man, I'm just a rat. Now Tyler the dog said, that's not gonna fly. But farmer cut, and I'll tell you why. Cause these here pumpkins gotta grow up to be big and fat. Besides, I'm not gonna lose my job over some stupid rat. I read the rat, said I wanna know more. Why don't you tell me exactly what these here pumpkins are for? And Tyler the dog said, I think there's somebody I might know. His name is S.K. Harry, and he's a scarecrow. Thanks. When they got to S.K. Harry, he was fast good. asleep. It's a good time. And Carl the Crow was pecking at his cheek. And Tyler the dog said, we gotta get this fool to the ground. So we can wake him up, and he can show us around. And Red the Rat, he chewed through the rope. And Harry fell down and said, whoa, where am I? And Tyler the dog says, did you forget? You're in the pumpkin patch, man. Come on, get it together. And this is my friend Rhett. By the way, he's a rat. And Harris says, these are special pumpkins. They need special care to fight the heat. Frost and fungus gonna go to the fair to a contest called the Way Off. Farmer Kurt's gonna take him there. That's right. And if we win, it's pumpkin pie for everyone and $1,500 to spend. Pumpkin patch, pumpkin patch, pumpkin pie for everyone and lots of cash. That's 800 pound pumpkins to you and me. These pumpkins are huge and that's no joke, as you can see. One more time. <laughs> <laughs>